Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Alpha Knight. Welcome back to a brand new video on my channel today, guys. It is episode four of the old, not so old series. I, I think that's a brand new name right there, the old, not so old series. Only because Minecraft uh, hasn't been very nice to me, <laughs> to be honest. Um, the world used to be an old world where you had limited amount of space to actually play on, and now it's actually not anymore now it's actually infinite as you can tell it went from old to infinite and um on yesterday's episode i asked you guys to see as you can tell like it i turned it infinite the seed is practically it's actually zero it's really not zero i tried to see if i could actually load it on a different um uh, record screen it didn't work like that i'll probably export it and then change it into another world so i can actually go ahead and try it out and um see if i can actually build stuff in creative before i go ahead and build in survival but that's for a different time anyways so let's jump right into the episode i was thinking i was talking about something else but i totally forgot what, what it was about so we're just gonna skip it all the way i'll probably look it up after i recorded this episode and then probably episode four or something and then we'll figure things out so for today's episode, guys, what I was thinking of doing is actually going into the nether and getting ourselves an enchanting table. Of course, I did tweet out a picture of uh, what the nether, not the nether, the enchanting room is probably going to look like because I've actually done a pretty good design. You guys can go ahead and check me, uh, check it out on my Twitter account, which is at alpha kyt. You can go ahead and follow me there. And uh, yeah, it'll be greatly appreciated and everything. So, um... You know one thing I don't like, I should probably collect all these wheat in here, but I probably will, oh, Jesus, what is going on? Alright, I thought I was getting like super light spikes for a second. Chicken, I know you saw my, the wheat in my, the seeds inside of my, on my hand, but you can't have them, you can't have them, I'm sorry. Anyway, oh, egg, egg, hello, egghead. Alright, so, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys, uh, what I've done in the world so far. Probably, I actually has done nothing. Literally nothing has been done to improve this world. I'm just uh, like, I'm just kidding. So we're just going to go ahead and um, jump into the base area that we have over here. And we're going to go ahead and actually go and um, get ourselves a diamond pickaxe so we can go mine some obsidian to start this episode off. Um, so for today's episode, I was thinking of talking about some very important things such as Minecraft updates. I can't, oh, whoa, can't, wow, almost fluffed up so bad. Anyways, I actually cannot wait for 0. Point, I mean, not 0. Point, 1. Point, um, 1.3, I think it's called, coming to come out. It's going to be amazing. So um, before now, before then, um, we start talking about those. I've actually gone ahead and make my made myself a uh, bit of a map wall right here. So you know, we've started this. You can actually see the outline of the old world. Um, I know it's probably like a. So I I'm I'm pretty like the type of guy to not trust some, some YouTubers at all. Although I do watch it in either way. It's just like, sometimes I don't trust them. But as you can tell, the old world was there. It actually turned infinite, as you can tell. Like it started spawning things out of nowhere. That, is, that was gonna be like a, a full on biome, but then swamp, like swamp. That's a that's actually a savanna bond in agua, agua. And just desert agua. And then like a island right there. It's, it's, it's really funny. Anyways. um. I had an area out here with, with cows and one alpaca. It died. It was a shame. A creeper got in there and it blew it all up. As you can tell, like I didn't even fill the insides up. See? Yeah. That happened. I'm gonna take one piece of this and then cover it right there. Anyways, uh, I did there's two alpacas in here. This one I put this one in there, but this one got in by itself, which is miraculous and everything. So I'm gonna spawn. Nope, they didn't spawn anything. Hello, hello, llama drama. Oh! Oh, yeah, they're trying to get it in. I see you. That's some llama drama for you guys. Llama drama. So, um, over here is where I'm going to be placing the, uh, this area out right here is where the nether port is going to, not nether port, the, um, enchanting area is going to go. Although it's not going to be done in this episode because that's, that's a lot of materials I need to collect. That's why I was breaking down that tree over there. Which I don't think I finished. Did I? I, I, I don't know. I really don't care at the moment. So, let's go ahead and uh do some things i've gone ahead and, like uh what do you call it expanded the wheat the farm a little bit but it's like literally not that much because like it's so much places to put like i have so many areas to fill it's probably going to take a couple of episodes between this between um a couple of episodes until this whole thing is filled i got myself some um what are these called lily pads 
yeah, lily pads to actually place on top of the wire so we can actually go on top of it, which is quite nice. And um, yeah, so before we do everything, let's go ahead and actually make some di a diamond pickaxe. This is going to be the first diamond pickaxe I make in this world. One, two, three. There we go. Let's go ahead and make it right now. Eh. And boom. Diamond pickaxe achieved. We have Agua in our pot, um, water bucket right here. And we're going to go down into the, 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 the below. And we're going to get ourselves some city. Anyways, what I was saying is that we're going to be talking about some Minecraft updates that I cannot wait for. One has to be banners. Banners are going to be the life save, the, the saving grace of me. So um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, is that the fact that um, I want my world to have banners everywhere. It's going to be a banner of an alpaca. Not an alpaca, but like a llama, but I call them alpacas. I'll probably, I did find a name tag, so I'm going to name one of them alpaca. So it's going to be, it's going to be hilarious. Anyways, I haven't here. Like, why did I go down by one? That's, that's dumb. <laughs> Anyways, as I was saying, um, yeah, uh, we need to go actually and find ourselves a, the, the obsidian, as I was saying, uh, as I said before. But anyways, uh, we need to actually go ahead and uh, talk about how we're going to make the designs for the alpaca. I, I have to make designs up for that, but I, don't, I really have no idea how to do that because I'm not a very good banner person. I'm just going to place torches everywhere where it's dark. Anyways, this is... Yes, location at lava where I could get some, you know, that is that what's this called obsidian. Anyways, um, some more of Minecraft updates that are probably that are gonna come out are uh, parrots, I think, or did parrots already come out? I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure they're they're coming out soon. On top of that, there is the fact that uh, stained glass is coming out. That that's gonna be pretty much like a. I think that's like one of the saving graces of Minecraft stained glass. Because people have, like, Minecraft Pocket Edition especially, ever since, like, PC got stained glass, we, we were wanting stained glass. It's probably one of the best building blocks out there, and I really, like, I love it. I love the idea of it. And it's, whoa! I thought I was gonna die, I'm sorry. As I was saying, uh, anyways, it's probably gonna be, like, the best thing ever to be added to Minecraft Pocket Edition. It's gonna help with, like, nether, like, our nether hub is gonna look beautiful with stained glass we're gonna have like a abyss type like floor where it's gonna be like a dark uh black concrete on the floor and then there's gonna be like a black stained glass oh i can't i can't wait i can't wait i just can't it's already like coming to me and stuff so i need to collect some more over here for like um uh, some more obsidian for like what do you call it the nether portal as we already got enough for like the Enchanted table, so that's cool and all. But anyways, I was just saying about the nether, not the nether, the nether hub. I was thinking like it's gonna have like a floor. If you're watching Hermitcraft, um, go watch Iskald's episode about the nether hub where he actually tries it out. He has like a black uh, concrete on the floor and then he goes up every level with like a um, black, co not black concrete, black um, nether, no, not netherrack. Netherrack can't be black. Uh, <laughs> um, black. Uh, what's it called? Stained glass. Oh my god, I was just literally talking about it and I forgot what it was called. I'm so bad at this game. Anyways, um, we need 12, so that we need at least 16 more, um, that means we need, what, 9 more obsidian blocks? That's gonna be a pain to get. As I was saying, um, we're gonna have, like, we need to go exploring too. That's one of the things that needs to be done, and we're gonna need, like, a lot of obsidian because we're gonna make a nether hub with nether portals. If you don't know how um, the nether hubs work, is that my, the way Minecraft works is that the, ne the way Minecraft works, the, word, the way nether portals work in Minecraft, or the nether works in Minecraft, to be honest, is that every eight, every block in the nether is one block in, like, Minecraft overworld. So that, it's probably the best way to travel around because it's a lot faster, especially if you're, like, going far places. You can actually go ahead and build, like, a nether portal up in the nether and stuff and like the not the bedrock version like the top part of the nether like near the bedrock on the top and then like continue doing uh, on to that so that's probably one of the best things about um the nether right there but again there's also the fact that you can't really build on top of the nether because the world build limit is 258 or something like that. I really don't remember because I never paid attention to that. Uh, all I cared about was like, update, awesome, new stuff. I like that. And that was probably it for me. Anyways, one second. Hello, father. Oh, no, I got rid of the water. Oh, man. 
Eh, that's a shame. Um, I'm gonna collect that water over there. Oh, I don't have any blocks. I'm gonna break this. Now I got a diamond pickaxe. About wow, I was never gonna find that. That's that's really sad. Okay, let's collect all of this. My father just came home, so I'm saying hello. Hello, father. Hello. Anyways, oh, I don't. The iron hoe won't help me. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna place you guys not there. I want to place you on the floor so I can walk over you to collect that water stream up there, which is pretty far away. Anyways, as I was saying before, like my dad walked in. I what I want to do is actually create like I, I, I was I talking about the Nether Hub or was I talking about something else? I I don't remember. Like I have such a short memory of everything. Well, I like to see you too. Hello, zombie. I like to see you too. Axed. Sword. Sword. Aha. Perfect combination right there. And it, they're they're a triple kill. All right. Um, I really want to see if we can actually find a a we got mob spawner down here. I don't. I really hope so because mob spawners are wonderful. Now the one thing I'm scared about uh, uh, Infinite Worlds is that you, the ability to make a uh, mob grinders, and I like mob grinders, the uh, mob spawners like in the air and stuff is like quite limited now because there's caves everywhere and that takes away from the efficiency of them. And that's the only thing I really don't like about Infinite, but uh, I can deal with that sooner or later. Probably gonna have to torch this whole area off like off camera so like I could go ahead and get like full efficiency in when I'm making my uh, mob farm. I am collecting a lot of cobblestone, which is probably one of the main uh, ingredients for making a uh, mob grinder, a mob farm, actually. So anyways, as I was saying, for today's episode, uh, uh, again, I like stated that like a couple of times now, we're going to the nether, but what we're actually looking for in the nether is actually um, some blaze rods. We have arrows to kill the blades and blazes, and also like... Uh, we're also going to need some quartz, like a ton of quartz, because we're going to be need. Wow. This is a swamp. We're near a swamp biome. That's sad. I don't like swamp water. Swamp water is disgusting. All right. Let's get back on topic. Uh, oh, that's dangerous. Let's get back on topic. Oh, Jesus. Where did, where did you come from, sir? Like, you can't just spawn out of nowhere and expect that to be okay. It's not okay. Whoa. That, it almost looked like a uh, mine shaft for a second. I was like, I was about to get so excited and then scared again because I hate cave spiders. Because, wow, this is extravagant. Ah, that's dangerous areas over there. Let's see if I can remember how to get down. That's that's the question. Do I remember how to get down? I did see some lapis. Yes, lapis right here as we were coming up. So that's good. That's good. I said, yep, Europe, Europe. Anyways. Let's keep going down to what we we're doing before. Um, as I was saying, we're looking for some quartz, and uh, quartz is probably going to be one of the most important things because it helps a lot for my uh, redstone build. We're going to do a lot of redstone in this world. We're going to have like a bulk storage system. We're not going to do it like um, like every other YouTuber does it. They they use a lot of like stuff like um, their like huge things, just like like Ethos Nexus, and then like people's like um. Uh, Tango Tech's like super, like, whatever it's called. I don't, I don't even know what it's called and stuff like that. Ooh, I don't want to put water there. I want to put torch. Anyways, we're, we're going to be make, making the storage system out of like. Well, today we lost a great friend. A gold. It had so much to live for. And everything. All, all that cringy stuff. Anyways. Um. Yeah. So, as I was saying, we're going to make be building them, like, silos and stuff. The silos will allow us to, like, it depends how big we make the silos, so it's really not that important, like, how, like, efficient it is. It is. It's pretty efficient, actually. I'm not even going to lie. They are practically the most efficient um, blocks out there. I mean, build, redstone build out there. And so I've done, like, uh, tutorials for, like, a, a minecart, minecart, not minecart, minecart uh, storage system, but that's, that's, that, that, that don't work. Anyways, we're going to be using the quartz for like, um, obs not obsidian, we're going to be using it for observer blocks. Observer blocks are probably one of the best blocks out there Minecraft has added, and I'm really glad they did. Oh, we're at it already at 14 minutes of this episode, and like, I haven't even gone to there itself. So, yeah, that's, that's a shame. So, did I get 16? No, I need like two more, but yeah, I need two more obsidian blocks. 
Um, yeah, I'm gonna collect all the redstone out here. <sighs> you guys are very scary. I don't like y'all. Anyways, yeah, we're gonna need the uh, observer blocks to actually go ahead and make ourselves some uh, sugar cane farm, like very, very big sugar cane farm. So even though it's not gonna need to be like so huge, like we don't need a lot of uh, of them, like a lot of these uh, things, cause whoa. This, this, no, where did, where did that come from? I don't, I don't remember. I know it wasn't this way, so I, I really need to find my way home. But, oh, yeah, is it? It was this way. It was this way. Okay, anyways, as I was saying before, yeah, yeah, it was this way. It was this way. I was got, almost got, like, shook for a second. Oh, that's going to be dangerous. Let's do it this way. Safer. There you go. Um, let's place the water bucket in here anyways. All right. As I was saying, we're gonna need to make like I, the design for like the sugar cane farm is quite uh, really easy. We're also gonna need it to make like a melon farm too, so that's that's gonna be one of the main priorities for uh, observer blocks and stuff. So that's gonna be fun. I, I I think that's gonna be really fun. I really do the things. <laughs> Anyways, uh yeah 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 yeah. So that is one more should do the trick. Let's get that. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Nope, 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 nope. Don't want that. Let's break you. Not the one I'm standing on. I don't like standing on them. That's kind of dangerous and stuff. There we go. Nice. All right, that's finished. All right, let's head back up to where our home is. Was it this way? I'm not even sure. I, I really don't know how we get home anyways. So we're just going to run. Sprint. Sprint. Sprint! This the way home? I don't think this is the way home. Oh man. Yeah, I keep going. It is not the way home, and I still keep going. Anyways, yeah. We're also gonna need to find some blaze so we can get like a blaze spot. Ooh, I'm gonna have food. We're gonna need some like, not blaze, we're gonna need some gas so we can get like gas tears to make like strength potions and things like that. Um,. The wither skeleton skulls are not bad, but we are gonna need like looting three for that, and that's like a lot of enchanting or finding like a or clearing the vill villagers and hoping to get a library and with that enchanting book. So that's why we need to go to the uh nether to get like blaze rods and to get like uh to get the ability to craft the um brewing stand, which will allow us to make ourselves a uh. Potion of weakness, and then we do have gold apples, so we can make gold apples. It's not that difficult. So, and we also have so we and we do have to like um two zombie villagers up there, so it's probably like the easiest way to do things. So yeah, we're good on that uh portion of things. So yeah, I need to figure out an area where I'm gonna place another portal. How about in here? I have like a three by three area in here, or am I gonna have to make it two by two? So one two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, that's. I think that's enough. Why did I get seventeen? I I didn't need seventeen. Of these one, two, three. There we go. Well, now we got extra obsidian, so it's all good. It's all good. Anyways, yeah. But before we do that, we're gonna need to place all these things in here. Uh, I'm gonna have to make all these guys into like uh blocks of all things, but 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 that can wait. That can wait. Anyways, I don't want that there. Oh, that's not what I wanted to pick up. I'm gonna place that right back in here. There we go. That's what I want to place up there. And boom, boom. Grab you. Put you over here. Grab the food. Thank you. Um, what else do we got in here? We did we did um go fishing and we got ourselves some saddles. A uh, clownfishes. Which is what we're going to be naming um, subscribers of the days from now on. We're going to be um, putting the clownfishes inside the, uh, inside, what do you call it? Uh, thingy, that anvil, an anvil, and then go ahead and naming it. So, uh, and naming the, ca uh, the subscriber of the day and stuff. I'm probably going to have to start doing that too. Because, like, subscriber of the days are pretty much, like, the funnest thing ever. Uh, do I have, yep, I do. One, two, three. Boom, that should be enough. Boom, boom, like so. 
grab two of you guys. One, two. Beautiful. And then, there we go. Cat enchanting table has been accomplished and everything. Um, we don't have a place to place it yet. So I'm just going to place it in the corner right here and see what we get in the... I don't want that. What I want is something on my bow. That's what I, was, I want. Um, power one. I guess the power is not that bad, so I really don't care Like if it's a, not a level 30. Oh, we do have this. So that's, that gives me an idea. Do I have enough to make what I need to go? One, two, three. Oh, no. I don't. I really don't. But iron right here. Oh, Jesus. I didn't think ahead of that. So, yeah, what I'm trying to do is I'm making a anvil, and we need, like, a couple more. But I think this should do it. Power 5. I mean, power 1, my fault, in, for 5 enchant levels. So that's that's good, I, I guess. Um, it doesn't look like it's enchanted, but it is. As you, you really can tell, it is enchanting, enchanted. But, uh, yeah, Minecraft, that, like, uh, B-Dub's texture pack does that. Anyways, we need, they really need, come on, spell faster. We are in, at 21 uh, minutes right now, and we still haven't gone into the nether at all. So, yeah, it really doesn't matter at the moment. But, okay, so we need four pieces of iron at the moment. So, boom, and then we can actually go ahead and make that. Oh, another um, feature that Minecraft has added is that the fact that if you go ahead and break these and then get out of the crafting table, it doesn't fall on the ground. So, it's like, imagine... I could do something like, oh, that's chest. That It does that. It has to do that in chest. If I had to do something, no, it does that for that one too. That's chest. And there we go. Enchanted table. If I were to place like stuff inside the enchanted table right here, I would go out and it goes back into my inventory. That's something they added and I really like that one. All right. So now we got those things we need to make a anvil. Pretty much easy. Easy win. Easy W. So we're going to place that there. Um, let me grab the book real quick. We do have 25 enchant um, levels, so really not that big of a deal. Um, we're going to call it... No, we, do, we don't need to name it yet. So, yeah, now we got inf uh, infinity on our bow, so we're actually fine with one arrow now. Um, I think we have everything we need. We I don't really care what I'm going to lose right at the moment. If I die, I actually die, but I have slept before in my bed, so I'm safe for now. Uh, we have a diamond pickaxe. Do I want to bring, I don't think I want to bring the diamond pickaxe with me. And, uh, yeah, we can make all these guys later, sooner or later. So, let's grab ourselves a flint, and then grab our piece of iron from here. Go ahead and make this. Even though I don't have to place it inside the crafting table, I do anyways. I still love the fact that the iron, the dark iron converts into, like, all the, turns of everything that's, Anything that has to do with iron into iron, which is beautiful. So, let's take our first steps into the nether. Alright, we're going to have to be careful. Oh no, I forgot all the blo oh, blocks. I need blocks, though. Ooh, this is a good place to spawn at. Although, the only reason why it does that is because um, if you build underground for the nether, um, and the nether actually builds you up a lot farther than you are supposed to be, I think. I'm not sure. I, I, I don't know if that's true or not, but... Pretty certain that's how it works, but we need a at least a couple a stack of cobblestone. If you guys saw those green concrete right there, that's that's for another build. That's for uh actually that is for a build. Uh, it's for the enchanted table room. Well, I'm gonna have to clear that out um between episodes and stuff. Wow, that that shouldn't happen, but it did. All right, we got six pieces of we have we literally have six torches, which is not okay at all. Uh, yeah, we need to find some magnet cubes so we can actually make some more stuff. Uh, although, ladies and gentlemen, that was almost strike one. We almost died almost immediately, and, hey, there we go. We got some, uh, fortress down there. So that's the W, I guess. Um, uh, I would go ahead and visit that fortress if it wasn't so far away, and there's no way to get in there without, like, forward enough, but... I probably will have to go over there. We're actually, I think we can reach the 30 minutes marks for today's episode. I'm going to collect all these quirks right here because, like, it gives good enchanting um, XP levels. And it's also very, very, very useful. Especially if you're going to make observer blocks, which is something we got to do. 
And I love Observer Blocks so much. Yeah, we got some stuff down there. We also need to get Glowstone. Glowstone, I totally forgot Glowstone in. The it gives you the ability to make um redstone lamps, which is also a block that I love. Hello, outside world and stuff. Outside world and nether is pretty dangerous. I'm just saying. It's like super dangerous. I don't trust it. I don't trust it. Ah, uh, come on. Give me some accessible, like... Man, it's a shame, really. Uh, although, like, one thing that you have to be be, caref um, be careful of in the Nether is that um, you get lost easily. It's literally one type of block everywhere, and you, if you don't look around and be careful where you're going, you're gonna die. You're gonna get lost, and you're gonna die. Unless you have um, the we call it coordinates. Pigmen, bro. These guys are a pain. If they fall in front of you while you're mining, and they hurt when they hit you too some of them get like enchanted swords and stuff so like jesus christ they're difficult to fight you don't want to pick a fight with a what did what did he go did he jump <laughs> that's funny if he'd actually jump anyways so we're gonna collect all of these right here the quartz and stuff i don't want to get greedy if i get greedy i'm gonna die that's minecraft 101 right there don't get greedy or you're gonna die Jesus Christ. Oh, I hate how Endermen spawn in here now. Now they rule like the overworld, the ne end, and the nether. It's stupid. They're everywhere. And they try to kill you too, especially if you look at them. Don't don't look at Endermen. That's a Minecraft rule right there. Don't look at Endermen. <laughs> especially in Pocket Edition. I've already stated this before, but Pocket Edition Endermen are so much harder to kill. They are so much stronger. I think, like, everything in Minecraft Pocket Edition apparently is, like, way stronger than uh, PC is. The Ender Dragon. I mean, probably a lot stronger than uh, PC's dragon is. And a lot tougher to fight, too, especially in Pocket Edition, because, you know, we got limited enough, like, movements and things. Because it's literally a mobile device. It's on your phone. So, yeah. Okay, so this area is not safe. Let's block that off. Although, I would love if I actually found, got my, found myself a, uh, what, do, what, what are they called? A gas, uh, not a gas, a uh, blaze around here. Like, just slowly dying, you know, slowly flying around. So I can whack them a little bit and then get all the things, all the things, you know, all the things. So, I don't want to be around here a lot more than I, want, than I am. But I'm going to keep exploring for you guys because it's good content, especially in the nether. Uh, oh, I, I hate the nether. Like, I'm actually, like, scared of it. But we did find this. This is a safe way down, I guess. There's nothing out here trying to kill me yet. One thing I love to do in the nether is try, uh, try to f go through it um, on safe, like, no mobs on peaceful because that's the safest play way to go into the nether on peaceful mode i'm just saying guys i'm just saying rule of thumb right there all right so oh there it's right there so we got a leg right there so i'm gonna go ahead and place some blocks in here just to state where i have to go next time when i come out here doing like uh without recording like i don't want to die on camera if i die i die but on camera that's a no-no for me I'm sorry, guys. Like, I don't like being like, hey, guys, I died, and you guys saw it, and, like, I got roasted in the comments below, like, you suck, and I'm just like, no, I know, I know I suck, I know I suck. Uh, we're on 28 minutes right here, guys, and we're on 24 uh, experience levels, so, yeah. Um, I think I'm going to end the episode here. We did accomplish a lot today. Not a lot today. What am I lying? What am I lying about? We did go to the net today, which is pretty much a lot, I think. Whoa, 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 where am I? Where am I? No, 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 none of that, none of that. I can't be lost already. Is this? What? 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 Okay, so right here is where I have to go. I don't like the nether. This is, this is the reason why I don't like the nether. I get lost too easy. Too easily. Too easy. It's too easy to get lost. Okay, so this way... Top of stone is being placed everywhere, so I... 
there we go. Safe safety precautions out here, you know. You gotta be you gotta be safe. Ooh, ooh, okay. So that is the outside world. We don't want to go in the outside world. We will go to the outside world, probably in not this episode, that's that's for sure. Um we are at 30 minutes. Yikes. Where is my house? Okay, so it's this way. Alright, now I'm now I'm seeing places. Okay. Now we got we we're getting somewhere I I I guess I'm not sure it was like I don't know where anything else is is it this way I don't think it's this way I think I lost I I think I'm lost yeah I'm lost thank you guys for watching this episode if you did enjoy please hit the like and subscribe if you've already done so this has been Alpha Night and I'm signing off you guys do notice that Minecraft has added these like designs ever since the beginning. Look at that. That looks like a spiral, right? Right here. Yeah. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.